All right, so we've installed the rotary jig onto our machine, put on the white bed extension that came with it, all right? And it's pretty straightforward when you're going to be printing on cylindrical items, all right? You're going to have four sets of wheels. We have a pair here. There's normally a pair here and a pair here. We also have a pair here. When you're doing cylindrical items, that's exactly what you want to use. You don't need this idler attachment. Uh, you, you may use the clamps if it has an open end to it. In a lot of cases, we just fill up the cylinder with water, screw the lid on it, and that's plenty of weight to make sure we get good registration. When you go to do the conical items, like this type of cup here, has got a wider top, narrower bottom. We have to compensate for that. And so what we do is we take those wheels off, all right, and we're going to put the idlers on, which are right here. Before we take that step, once we've got these lined up, what we're going to do is you have received some uh, of a grit type tape. That what you're going to do is you're going to put that grit type tape to line up with these wheels. All right. As you can go along, you can actually add extra pieces of grit tape at any place that you're going to put the wheels. That's a permanent attachment. That just gives us a lot better bite, so we get good registration. However, we still will get some slippage when we're doing conical items, because when I put a conical item on here, it's like this, as you can see, I'm only biting that with about a third of this rubber wheel right over here. All right, and so we're going to have, have a tendency to have a little bit of slippage. Usually it's with the cup actually on the wheel. So what's going to happen is you're going to have situations like this that occur. All right, as you can see here, my white layer is sticking out. The cup was like this. So what has actually happened is the white layer is sticking out just a hair past the color, which means the color printed too far down this way. It means we had too much pressure over here. So what we need to do is to adjust that pressure. Now, if we would have had the exact opposite situation, right, where the white was picking, poking off the other side, the color had gone too far around, that would mean we'd slipped in another direction. We were too light in our pressure. As you can see on top here, if we can zoom in, underneath of your idler for inside, there's a screw. As we turn that screw to the right counterclockwise, that's going to increase pressure. What that would do in this case would actually make it worse, right? In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this screw and I'm going to back it off about a quarter of a turn, and that's going to actually move my color layer the other direction, right under on top of the white. Now, how do I do that without wasting a whole lot of these cups? Very simple. If you look over here, under your, where, where your, your controls are for your UV lights, you'll see we have these lights turned down to one or two on the intensity level. That'll actually set the inks on the cup but not to the point that it's going to be permanent. So after I've adjusted it, I can literally just take my thumb and take that just right off, all right? That's a way that you can do without having to use a bunch of these tumblers up to learn how to do it. If you, have, if you want to print on two tumblers, what I recommend you do is work on the, this side first, get it dialed in. Once you've got that one adjusted, go ahead and put a second cup on, just print to this side. All right, and then you can print two of them up at a time. You will, it will take some adjustment for different types of cups, different thicknesses. Uh, we've actually found that these are 30 ounce and the 40 ounces printed pretty much the same. The 20 ounces took a little bit of tweaking because they're a different shape than these are. But literally, that's all there is to setting these up so that you get good consistent prints. It's gonna take a little time to dial it in for your machine. Once you've got it dialed in, you're gonna be able to print great two pass prints. I actually think I have a cup that I could show you. When and they're deal, dialed in right. You don't have the peak that you have here. One last thing you do want to do is inside of your RIP software, and you can contact your, our techs about this, inside of your RIP software you do want to set up a white ink choke. Since you are printing on a curved substrate, you want to put a white ink choke back off to about a level of 10. That'll give you a nice little choke so you can actually, you don't see any white peaking anywhere out because this is something you're going to view from the side. We actually want the inks to wrap over top of that. If you don't do that choke, it's literally going to be the ink right on top of the ink. And when you turn it, you're actually going to see whites from either side. There you go. That's setting up your compressed UV 600 or 1200 to do conical shaped items on your rotary attachment.